In this part, I will deal with KMAP problem appeared in 2001 exam. For the digital block shown in figure, the output Y is function of S3, S2, S1 and S0. These are the four inputs where S3 is MSB, the most significant bit, and S0 is LSB, the least significant bit. Y is given in terms of min terms. You can see the min terms given in the problem and its complement is also available to us. In the first part, we need to enter the logical values in the given Carnot map for the output Y. This is the given Carnot map and we have to enter the logical values in this Carnot map. 1, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13 and 15 are the min terms. So I will quickly enter the values in the K map. This is how your Carnot map will look once you fill it with the min terms given in the problem. In the second part of the problem, we need to write down the expression for Y in sum of products form using minimum number of terms. This means we need to calculate minimal SOP form, minimal SOP form and for this I will make group of ones in this K map. In the first group, I will have these two ones. In the second group, I will have these two ones. In the third group, I will keep these two ones. And in the fourth group, I will combine the remaining two ones. I will call this group P1. I will call this group P2. This group is P3. And the last group, the last group is P4. These are the four prime implicants. And we will try to obtain the minimized soft form using these four prime implicants. The output is equal to Y. So Y is equal to P1 or P2 or P3 or P4. P1 is equal to S3 complement, S2 and S1. This is what we have from group 1 from P2 we have S3 complement, S1 complement, S0. From P3, we have S3, S2, S1 complement. And from the last group, we have S3, S1, S0. So these are the four min terms and the obtained result is minimal soft form. So we are done with the second part of the problem. Now we will move to the third part. In the third part, we need to draw the circuit for the digital logic boxes using four two input NAND gates only for each of the boxes. These are the two digital logic boxes. For first box, we can use four two input NAND gates. For the second box, we can use four two input NAND gates. So let's see how we can obtain the desired result using the four two input NAND gates for box one and four two input NAND gates for box two. But first we need to modify this SOP form that we have obtained from the K map. Output Y is equal to S3 complement S2 S1 or S3 complement S1 complement S0 or S3 S2 S1 complement and the final min term is S3, S1, S0. Now you can see in the first term and in the third term S2 is common. So I will take S2 common and inside the bracket we have S3 complement S1 or S3, S1 complement. In the second term and in the last term you can see S0 is common. So I will take S0 common and inside the bracket we have S3 complement, S1 complement or S3, S1. And if you remember the logic gates lecture, A XOR B, A XOR B was equal to A and B complement or A complement and B. So S3 complement S1 or S3, S1 complement is equal to, is equal to S1 XOR S3 and S3 complement S1 complement or S3 and S1 is equal to S1 XNOR S3 very simple so we have S1 XNOR S3 S1 XNOR S3 is also equal to S1 XOR S3 and its complement because for two inputs we have XOR as the complement of XNOR so I can write S1 XOR S3 its complement this is how we can write the output Y. 
and now I will try to implement this using 4 plus 4 8 NAND gates. First I will implement S1 XOR S3 because for this we require 4 NAND gates. I will quickly complete the circuit. The two inputs are S1 and S3. The output is equal to S1 XOR S3. Now I will try to implement the next box in which I have to use only 4 2 input NAND gates. I will feed this output to box 2. Output of box 2 must be S2 and S1 XOR S3 or S0 and S1 XOR S3 its complement. This is the first term and this is the second term that we need to implement using 4 NAND gates only. I will implement the first term. We need S1 XOR S3. We have S1 XOR S3 and I will end it with S2. So I will try to implement AND gate. We already know how to implement AND gate using two using two NAND gates. The second input is S2. I will complement the output of this NAND gate so that we have the AND gate. This output here is equal to S2 and S1 XOR S3. Now I will implement the second term and for this I have to first complement S1 XOR S3. So I will take this and complement using common input NAND gate. This is how we obtain inverter using the NAND gate. The output is simply equal to S1 XOR S3 its complement. Now I will end it with S0 like I have ended S2 and S1 XOR S3. I will again implement the AND gate using two NAND gates like this. The second input is S0. The output is simply S0 and S1 XOR S3 its complement. And we have to OR these two outputs. We have to OR these two outputs and we require three NAND gates to implement OR gate like this. This is the first NAND gate, this is the second NAND gate and the two outputs will go to the last NAND gate and the output of this NAND gate is output Y. But you can see we have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 NAND gates but we are only required to use 4 NAND gates. So there are some redundancies in this circuit. The first redundancy that I can see is these two gates. We are taking the complement using this NOT gate and again complementing the result by using the another NOT gate. If we have A and we complement it, we'll have A complement and if we again complement it, then it is equal to A. So the same result is there by using the two NOT gates. So I will remove these two gates. In the same way, we can remove these two gates also. So we are left with 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 NAND gates. So this is how you have to solve this problem. If you want to solve this type of problems then you must practice a lot. There was only one important thing in this lecture and it was obtaining this result. We obtained this result from minimal SOP form and you can develop this type of approach only when you solve so many problems. So try to solve as many problems as possible and if you have any doubt regarding any part of this lecture you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.